Proud Boys leader, he was arrested in his underwear for his role, January 6th. I mean, he keeps going in and out of jail. Uh, let's go ahead and put up the picture, full throttle. <laughs> that's now that's funny. <laughs> the former leader of the right wing Proud Boys was arrested in Miami Tuesday morning in connection with the January 6th, 2021 terrorist attack. Enrique Tario was taken into custody at his home on Northwest 2nd Street where the FBI and other law enforcement conducted a raid. This 38 year old self professed Trump supporter was indicted on one count of each. Now put his picture back up, damn that, this is too funny. He was indicted on one count of each conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding and obstruction of an official proceeding, as well as two counts each of assaulting, resisting, or impeding certain officers and destruction of government property in the Capitol breach. That's according to the US Department of Justice. Now, we put a lot of emphasis on the conspiracy angle with all of this terrorism that took place on January 6, 2021. That pressure is now starting to work because they were going to allow people that were not physically there to face no penalty. But if they engaged in a conspiracy, meaning a meeting of the minds, if they conspired to commit crime, if they provided instructions, direction, support, gas money, whatever it is, that is called conspiracy. And now they're starting to be charged good for the federal government and good for all of you who continue to advocate for that angle as it relates to this criminality. He wasn't at the Capitol on January 6th, as noted. Police had arrested him in Washington two days before the riot and charged him with vandalizing a Black Lives Matter banner at a historic black church during a protest December 2020. The day before the Capitol was attacked, a judge ordered Enrique to stay out of Washington. He later served a five month prison sentence. The indictment claims he had evidence. The indictment claims Tario led the advance planning and remained in contact with other members of the Proud Boys during their breach of the Capitol. The indictment also alleges that Tario claimed credit for what had happened on social media in an encrypted chat room during and after the attack. After his release from jail earlier this year, Terrio told NBC6 that if he hadn't been arrested, he would have been at the Capitol that day. And that he would have stopped the Proud Boys from participating in any violence. Lies, I tell you, lies. All right, so he's going down again, just very interesting. But moving in the right direction, we'll see exactly what will happen as far as justice is concerned. Ms. Tucker, you're in law school. Uh, you saw clearly in the beginning how this was being handled in a very different way. I mean, they were getting community service for literally committing an act of terrorism against the United States Capitol. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, my friend. Enjoy <laughs> jail. Don't drop the soap. Do what you got to do. Damn. Period. Yeah, you know, he calls himself, his attorney called him a prolific snitch. That's what one of the attorneys said about. Um, his activity in the past. And he actually resigned from being the leader of the Proud Boys because evidence came out that he worked with law enforcement at one time and snitched on other people. It's quite interesting where they find their leaders. Obviously, they don't vet them well. 